Hey guys and girls, Bordnell back with you on this video. I will be talking about Ozark Season 3, Episode 10. It is called All In and it is the season finale. So full spoilers from the start of this review. And there's only one place to start and that is of course with the birds from the fallout after Ben's death at the end of last season. Uh, last episode, sorry. And the impact it has on, on Wendy, obviously she's mourning his loss, she's wrapped with guilt because of her being like responsible, making the call, and we see her, you know, emotionally unload and open up to Marty, and one of the things it does in this episode is it actually brings them back together in a way, because... I think for a lot of this season they have been at each other's throats or they've been doing things behind each other's back trying to one-up each other. So this is actually a, a, a nice little way to end the season where they're on the same page. Obviously Marty's very supportive because of what Wendy's going through and they they also come together partly because they realise things are getting serious and their lives could be at stake, their family could be at stake. So they come together and they come up with a plan to save themselves from Navarro. And the plan is to prove that they're of more value than than Helen is, or than they're of value anyway, because Helen's trying to weasel her, her way in. She suggests, you know, why not let me run the business? We don't need the birds anymore to Navarro. So that's continuing, and it's obviously a big thing in this episode, like which way will they choose? Which way will Navarro choose? But the plan that Marty and... Wendy come up with is to like solve the turf war between the two Kaitels, which obviously has been a theme this season. It sort of opened the season, so they sort of think that will impress Navarro. And how they do that, because there's a scene earlier in, in the episode where Navarro's having like his son's baptism and they they attack then that they start shooting at people and you know his son's put in harm's way i think there's a couple of people shot so that sort of brings things to boiling point so what marty and wendy do later on is they actually show or marty does he shows maya the video footage of um well droners Jonah's Jonah's drone footage which shows the Lacarus, however you say their surnames, brothers, like killing off, you know, the the truckers on the drop. Um so that leads to their arrest. Maya arrests them. So that's puts them out of the picture, you know, what sort of freeing up the turf, winning the turf war for Navarro and and his side of things so that's obviously a big step in impressing him and yeah we end with this scene where like the birds and Helen are both like invited to the second Baptist and it's sort of this tense little scene where you're not quite sure what's going to happen and I certainly didn't expect what was coming in the scene because they they get off the plane or whatever, whatever they come on in and they you know they go up they're smartly dressed and everything and yeah out of nowhere cuz they're all like greeting Navarro and his men shoot Helen like and her brains go flying and it's this sort of clever little shot where it, you know she's off to the side and you, you don't quite see it exactly but you know obviously what's happened and and it's out of nowhere because like I think the birds the shot is in there hugging like Navarro at the time 
and it's very significant because because you know Helen's now dead, and on the one hand, it's it's obviously like you know he's chosen the birds in that dispute. He's obviously decided that Helen is being disloyal, stirring shit up. But at the same time, it's also a classic power statement. It's a little like the power statement that we saw from Dell in in like a season one flashback but it's kind of like a power statement just saying you know be aware be on your toes you know i'm not to be messed with i'm not to be like double cross but obviously he does pick them which is what they were hoping but it's a very shocking way for it to happen and yeah so it's obviously something which is very, you know, disturbing and unnerving. And he even hugs them, which, again, sort of has a double meaning. It's on the one hand, yeah, you know, affection. But on the other hand, it's like, okay, I've got you now. I've got you close to me and I'm not going to let you go. You know, watch your step, basically. But it's such a powerful, dark, disturbing like way to end the season that final shot it's like oh because it happened so fast and it's such a you know sort of shocking vigil and then we cut to the end credits so it really is like quite the shot to end the season on and they couldn't really have picked it much better or handled it much better but a, a lot of different stuff going on with the characters in this episode. Obviously, the fallout from what happened to Ben continues. And another thing is that the birds are obviously, you know, keeping the full truth away from their children. But Jonah, when when obviously Helen is still alive, he actually, you know, knows that she's involved somehow in what happens so as he confronts her and he has a gun and is pointing it at Helen and, and is, you know, fixing maybe to shoot her. So it sort of continues like the spiral of Jonah, but also shows how close he had gotten to Ben and, and how upset he is. And in the end, Helen talks, talks him out of it. So there's something... I guess about that scene the fact that she like you know to to quote unquote dodges a bullet there like she's she she's able to like manipulate Jonah and talk him out of shooting her but at the same time later on she she doesn't have so much luck and obviously it's I mean just talking about that it's mixed feelings losing such a great character as Helen but this is the sort of show where I think most characters only have a certain sell by day and I guess maybe that sort of character was always going to meet her comeuppance at some point but it's obviously Janet McTeen has has done a great job and it, it's sad to go but yeah it's sort of quite interesting than Jonah was almost the one to do it earlier in the episode and there's other stuff going on with Maya. She arrests Sam because he obviously had been, you know, caught, you know, doing fraudulent things around the casino. It's as as part of the thing, um, you know, for the birds to like turn over more profits. But he does get arrested, and it's almost this thing of although they're showing concern for Sam and okay we'll get you out you'll be fine but it's also you kind of get the impression then they're happy to like sacrifice him as like he's a sort of a a token thing that that Maya can have and it sort of is something for her which means she might be distracted and might take her eyes off the bird and like prosecuting them whether it'll work out that way, I don't really know. But it's just something where you feel they've almost sacrificed Sam, like put put him in place for her to like arrest, you know, as part of the bigger plan to avoid themselves going down. There's there's tension obviously with with um Ruth and with Wendy in this episode. Ruth is obviously the other character who's really down, really hurt by 
Ben's demise and she fights with Wendy over, you know, who's to blame, not not just for his death but also for Cade's death and a, a lot of things come to the boil between them and it's important because it leads to Ru- Ruth quitting the business quit she quits working for Marty in this one so that's obviously a, a really really bold sort of move and interesting to see where it'll go next season because you're sort of used really to Ruth working for for them in in some way or, or the other but slowly they have been like pulled apart this season where their relationship has become more and more fractured and it seems like what happened to Ben is is the ultimate nail in it in the relationship for the time being and, and Ruth makes this this decision so sort of interesting to see the way it goes because obviously she's now gotten closer to Wyatt again they've like come back together and sort of at the moment seems to have you know a link once again to him and I guess Darlene by extension speaking of Darlene some classic Darlene antics in this episode because she as revenge for Ruth what happened to her previously she shoots um Frank Jr in the balls and it's an absolute glorious scene partly because of the way it plays out because she goes up and threatens him in like the car and she's aiming at his balls and it's one of those like flinch type scenes where you're like well is she actually gonna do it and they sort of call your bluff and then she she just does it very matter-of-factly and it's sort of great to watch and it's also really funny because then she she repeats it several times like she says oh, you know I shot his balls off and she just has a funny way of like putting it and it's when she's having like the, the fight over it with his dad and he, she then has to sort of make peace with the dad, you know, just to stop him from coming after her. So she actually gets him in on the business, the drug, the drug business. So they actually becomes partner as a way to to make peace there. So some good Starling stuff and some some good stuff. I think just motivating her because of what happened to Ruth. But yeah strong season finale really good season i think the show just gets better and better i mean if if you heard my early reviews you'll know that i was i'd say hit and miss on season one i think overall it was pretty good pretty solid but there were definitely weaker moments there were definitely times when the pacing was dragging a little bit but then it was a big improvement in season two and now I think it's just gone to a whole new level for season three this is definitely the best season so far I mean the Ben storyline was very well done and I really like the dramatic ending to this episode and everything that sets up for season four so exciting times ahead going into the last season and of course the final episodes of Ozark will be up on Friday on Netflix so the second half of season four and I will continue to catch up and get ready for season four I will be ready for the new episodes hitting Friday you've got that promise from me so that's Ozark, the final episode of season three from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe as always. Let me know about some of your highs and lows from the season. What you think about some of the storylines and some of the characters. What do you think of Helen's demise, for example? What do you think of things like the Ben storyline and, and, and many others. Just let me know your thoughts over on Season 3 and I'll be back with my reviews of Season 4 soon. But thanks for listening.